Mr. President, I come to the floor today as the Senate uh, begins debating the nomination of Sylvia Burwell to be Secretary of Health and Human Services. If she's confirmed for that job, um, she'd be responsible for implementing thousands of pages of regulations related to the President's health care law. So I think it's appropriate as we consider this nomination to take a little bit of time and uh, talk about the state of the President's health care law. I uh, visited with a number of people from Wyoming just this morning, people here from Uinta County. And I will tell you what they know and what we all know are that there are many dangerous side effects of the law, like people losing access to their doctor, people getting smaller paychecks. You know, today I want to talk specifically about the expensive side effects that so many Americans are facing, and that's how much health insurance premiums are rising because of the law. States are starting to release the proposed premium insurance companies expect to charge next year under the Obama health care law. And the numbers, Mr. President, are not good for the American people, for people who wanted affordable care, quality care, access to care, the kind of things that the President of the United States looked into the camera and promised them. Now, Virginia was one of the first states to put out the numbers, what's happening in the state of Virginia. Every health plan sold in the state exchange expects to raise its rates next year. The state expects some people to pay as much as 17 percent more next year. In Vermont, it's a similar story. There are two companies offering plans in the state exchange. Yesterday, we learned that one intends to raise rates 10 percent, the other 15 percent next year. Last Friday, Ohio released its proposed rates for people buying insurance through the exchange. The average premium in the state's individual market is expected to be 13 percent higher next year than it was last year. You know, according to state insurance regulators, it's bad news, they say, but it's what they expected. The state lieutenant governor said, quote, continued and unnecessary headwinds out of Washington are making it more difficult for job creators, for hardworking Ohioans, and their families to purchase health insurance. President Obama said the Democrats should forcefully defend and be proud of the health care law. Is there a Democrat in this body, even one, who's willing to come to the floor and forcefully defend premium increases of 13 percent, 15 percent, 17 percent in one year alone? Now, more states are going to be releasing their new premiums all summer. More people around the country are going to see these kinds of rate increases. This is an alarming side effect of the President's health care law. 